Known as the floating city, Venice is the last stop on my Italian journey. Venice is completely surrounded by water, and in order to get around, you have to take a boat. The city is actually stretched out between many small islands, which is why taking a boat is a must. I love boats, so I'm not complaining. Amadeo recommended that we should get lost in this magical city because you're always bound to find something beautiful here. He's right, Venice is like a massive piece of art that's floating on water. Look at how, like all the statues on top of They put so much effort and detail into everything. Andrea and I walked around St. Mark's Square, where we met up with Amadeo. The true highlight in that is the historical Charles dress. He told us about this historic lace shop. Lace was a symbol of wealth and stature, and is considered a special art form. Unfortunately, the art is dying because fewer and fewer people are continuing to carry on the tradition of making lace by hand. Nowadays time, women don't really have that amount of time. A girl in an office won't even have time to cook, has to work on a lace. So by the time the last generation will be passed away, it's something that we're about to lose. And Aww. it's a shame. It's, yeah. Like the lace, the city of Venice is considered a dying city. Constant flooding is slowly putting the entire city underwater. And each year, more and more people are leaving Venice and moving to other cities. It's really sad to think that such a beautiful city like Venice could soon be gone forever. When Andrea and I entered the lace shop, we were stunned. Everything in the shop is made entirely by hand and something that looks so simple can actually take months and months to make. This is a kind of lace, for example, that you can find it only here in Venice. The, the needle lace. But this is the real ancient one. It's almost like snowflake. How long does it take to make this one right here? Like how long? How, how long? Just that it one right there. 40 days, model. Just that one? Yes, but, not, but yeah. not one lady only. They are seven. Seven ladies are involved. Seven, seven ladies for 40 this? days to take one thing. This is amazing. Uh, because That's there cool. are different kind of stitches. Well, I want to show you here because maybe here you can see a little bit better. We have different kind of lace. We have the filet lace, which is this one. This is like the fisherman net. And then it's all embroidery on top with the special movement. So there is not only one kind of lace. The owner of the shop explained to us how lace was made. First of all, they have to draw a design on uh, wax paper. So the needle slides better, you know. Mm -hmm. But wax paper is very thin, it's very fragile, as you can see. Mm -hmm. It already started to be broken. Right. So we have to put under it some other thicker paper, like which newspaper? is, oh, yes, like newspaper as well. A piece of fabric, so they, they join the layers together. Mm -hmm. They outline the design oh my gosh, in order like a sketch. to, yes, in order to just work on top. So anchoring to the besting stitches on the right side, they have to pass some threads and then they have to fill the threads with thousand and thousand and thousand of tiny and perfect little stitches. So if you make a mistake in this kind of lace, you cannot go back and repair it. What? So here you can see the mistake. I can see, you know, it's not perfect. Mm -hmm. And um, that's why they work in a team. As there are seven different kinds of stitches, seven ladies are involved. Each one of the lady is specialized in one stitch only. This is one kind of stitch, this sort of net. Okay. So the oh. lady is specialized in this kind of stitch. Okay. This is another one. You see, this is not just one thread. It's a thread filled with stitches. Oh my gosh, this is, I thought yes, it was just a thread. No. Wow, 
Wow. Even this one, you know, this is That's all incredible. made. Yes. So different kind of stitches. This so everything is, in this store is handmade? Yes. There's nothing I, made with a machine? Except, What's the difference between machines? Can you tell uh, the difference visually? Well, I can tell. You can tell? But it's not very easy to, for those that, you know, they don't know. It's yeah. not very easy to understand. But of course, here, yeah, it's handmade. There's nothing better than the human touch. Yes, I agree with you. It's different. There is a very big difference between machine made and handmade. So we should get like a handkerchief. I was looking at these, these are beautiful. Is there a special letter that you want to see? Of course. Um, I'm A. And M. Hello, we have the A. Andrea and I decided to buy some mm. handkerchiefs for our friends and family. I knew my mother, sister, and Promise would love the delicate hand-stitched lace. And Andrea also got some for her twin sister, Brittany. Okay, okay. So we will get, we will get all this. Okay. All this, all this together, please. Thank you so much. Thank this you. was so lovely. Thank you so much for showing us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye. Bye. Now Andrea and I are off to get lost in the city of Venice.